Now in 4 News Now at 6, an elementary educator and coach confesses to multiple sex crimes involving children. How he says he lured kids online. Breezy and cloudy across the inland northwest tonight. I'll let you know when the sunny weather will return in your first alert forecast. And an apartment fire leaves more than a dozen people with nowhere to go. What the fire department says prevented this fire from turning deadly. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. A well, Riverside Elementary School educator and high school coach made his first appearance in court today. And a warning, this is a story you may not want any children in the room to watch. Dallas Schuler was arrested on charges related to child pornography Saturday, according to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office. Schuler was emotionless in court today. The prosecutor in this case saying he is a clear and imminent threat to the community. We broke this story first on 4 News Now over the weekend. Marissa Rio has the details. Thank you, Kirsten and Derek. The court commissioner agreed with the prosecutor today, saying high community safety concerns are triggered in this particular case. According to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office, an investigation regarding a child sexual abuse video began on Monday, May 6th. Schuler was identified as a suspect the following day, and the Riverside School District says he was immediately placed on administrative leave. I always pray that that never happens within our district. A coach at Riverside High School and a paraeducator at Riverside Elementary with a secret that's jarred the Riverside community. An affidavit reveals Schuler's screen recorded two kids engaging in sexually explicit conduct on Snapchat. The boys are believed to be between the ages of 9 and 11. The young people that you're involved with are of the same or similar age group of the minors that you were interested in soliciting for sexually explicit conduct. A concern raised by Court Commissioner Cruz. According to the affidavit, Schuler allegedly admitted to being sexually aroused by minors and watching them engage in sexually explicit conduct. You know, I personally am praying for everybody involved in the, the situation. I'm, I'm sending lots of positive energy as much as possible to the, to the staff, to the students, to the community. According to court documents, Schuler allegedly admitted to having oral sex with the 14-year-old boy and engaged in sexual acts with another 14-year-old boy he contacted through Snapchat. He allegedly recorded the acts and sent it out to people through various apps. I would say if you have any concerns, uh, for sure to feel free to call my number, uh, to text me. We can schedule a meeting um, and listen to whatever whatever you, information you have. As of now, Russell says it doesn't doesn't appear that any of the victims are students of the Riverside School District. According to court documents, it is believed that within the past year, Schuler has communicated online with more than 25 minors for immoral purposes. The affidavit reveals he allegedly admits to there being more than 25 victims. Bond is set for $150,000. His arraignment is scheduled for May 29th. In studio, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. Well, right now, the Coeur d'Alene School Board is meeting to discuss a major change to their school calendar, as well as how to redistribute students from the soon-to-be-closed Bora Elementary School. At their last meeting, the board voted to close Bora in hopes of saving around a million dollars. Well, right now, the district faces a $6 million deficit because of inflation and low enrollment. This chart shows the proposed redistricting plan, and if approved, approximately 114 students would attend Bryan Elementary elementary starting in the fall. The school board is also discussing switching from late start days to early release days on Friday, meaning the school day would end two hours earlier. The district says it would eliminate hours that teachers work beyond what's in their contract. We do have a crew watching the meeting right now, and we will have the latest tonight on Nightside at 11 o'clock. All right, let's send it over to Chris Crocker now with a look at that first alert forecast. Croc? Well, get a good night's sleep tonight. We have clouds and a very low chance of seeing the aurora borealis. So uh, no problem. You're not going to be missing anything if you turn in early. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar. Clouds moving through the region right now. We do have a few isolated showers up in the higher terrain of extreme northeastern Washington and north Idaho, but dry elsewhere.
around the region. It has been a breezy day. Wind gusts still above 30 miles per hour in some locations, including Moses Lake, 29 mile per hour gusts in Spokane Valley, 22 mile per hour gusts in Pullman. It looks like Moses Lake is the windiest spot currently. These winds will be continuing to die down as we get into the evening with much lighter winds on the way for Tuesday. Meanwhile, your evening forecast, overcast conditions through the early part of the evening, 65 degrees and cloudy at 9, but then the skies start to clear late tonight, and that bodes well for a sunny Tuesday, but cooler. I'll let you know what to expect coming up in the seven-day forecast. Derek? All right, Chris, thank you. We now know the name of the 12 year old boy who drowned in Riverfront Park last week. The medical examiner says Nazian Gordon, who went by Joe, was one of four boys who jumped off the Orange Howard Street Bridge last Wednesday. Three of the boys were able to get out safely, but Gordon never resurfaced and was later located by dive teams. Gordon was a student at Yasuhara Middle School, according to Spokane Public Schools. Washington State Patrol is searching for motorcycle riders that were involved in a crash that left two people seriously hurt. Investigators say the crash happened on I-90, right near the Hamilton Street exit. They say the motorcyclists were driving erratically. Witnesses told investigators that one of the riders even ran from the scene after the crash and left their bike behind. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Washington State Patrol. Well, more than a dozen Meade High School students walked out today in protest of how the school handled a hazing and sexual assault investigation involving members of the football team. <laughs> This video shows several Mead players pinning down an underclassman while another player presses a massage gun into his groin area. This all taking place at a summer camp held at Eastern Washington University last year. According to an investigation by the Mead High School, the athletic director learned about the incident in July, but the school did not submit a complete investigation until March 15th, eight months after the incident. One of the students at the protest saying the school took too long to act. They got information about this back in June. They got video evidence back in February, and it's only getting spread around town now. So um, we're just here to show support about the uh, fact that our staff and people are not uh, doing what they should be. You know, if there's a protocol, follow it. Don't just sit there and do nothing. As of right now, no one has been charged with a crime. The two people who were hurt in this apartment fire in Spokane Valley have been released from the hospital. That fire started around 1.30 in the morning at the Aspen Apartments near East 4th and Sullivan Road. A total of six homes were destroyed, with fire officials saying around 15 to 20 people now have to find a new place to live. We'll explain what's being done to help these families find a place to stay tonight at 6.30. Season started again. Over 100 wildfires are burning in Canada right now. Coming up, which U.S. cities are already being impacted by smoke? And many people say getting a meal at a fast food restaurant is just as expensive as going to a sit-down restaurant. We take a look at how much prices have gone up and how it's impacting restaurants around the country. And a heads up for your morning commute on I-90 tomorrow. We'll warn you where crews are... Eight ...coming up after the break. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. For 27 years, our promise has been to save you green. Tesla's bluesy and soulful sound is still roaring and soaring live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, July 25th. Get your tickets now for one of the 80s hottest bands. Winning is just the beginning. Do you have a storage problem? Wisman Storage Containers is your all-in-one local storage solution. We offer a variety of sizes and provide free delivery within the greater Spokane area. Wisman Storage Containers is your locally owned and family operated storage solution. Don't just store, secure your stuff today. From design and products to removal and installation, we handle the entire process to create a beautiful and functional bathroom for whatever your life needs. Rebath, with you every step of the way. Don't relocate, renovate. As your needs change, update your bathroom with aging and accessibility solutions designed to keep the space safe and stylish. 
Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,500 off your complete bathroom remodel. I'm Mark Peterson, the Extreme Team and Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on our next job. If you know of a project that needs an Extreme Team makeover, go to KXOY.com to nominate it. Our thanks to Horizon Credit Union for sponsoring the 4 News Now Extreme Team. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. This year, spend your summer in a new Toyota from Finley, downtown Toyota. And take advantage of the great lease options and financing specials currently being offered. This week at Finley. It's the Carton Lane Casino's $257,000 trucks and boatloads of winning giveaway. May 25th kicks off the giveaways. Earn entries to win extra play cash and a 16-foot low fish and ski boat grand prize. Winning is just the beginning. Well, McDonald's might soon have a new value option because customers have been upset over rising food prices. Some say they might as well go to a sit-down restaurant because it's basically the same price as fast food. Good morning, Northwest anchor Robin Nance has the backlash. Fast food fans are reacting to word that McDonald's is planning to add a $5 value meal to its menu as it responds to a drop in sales. Inflation taking a toll, the chain getting grilled by customers amid reports of a Big Mac value meal approaching $18 in part of the country. A big share of McDonald's clients are low-income consumers. And so those people, low-income consumers, are really feeling the pinch right now. And maybe they are not necessarily eating at restaurants. Maybe they're just eating at home. The Golden Arch is now looking to better compete with Wendy's $5 Biggie Meal and Burger King's two for five option. Fast food prices in March were 33% higher than in 2019 and labor costs are surging. I see McDonald's a lot on the job sites. It's quick and easy and cheap, um, but not really anymore. It's not that cheap anymore. So I'm not really saving the money I thought I would by going to McDonald's or any sort of fast food. Casual restaurant chains like Red Lobster also seeing red, now considering bankruptcy. While Applebee's and Chili's offer bargain burgers and other discounts, even small town kitchens are feeling the heat. Des Moines, Iowa seeing several restaurants close their doors, citing higher costs, as well as COVID era loans coming due. As for those fast food fanatics, they have this simple message. I'm a fast food girl through and through, but please lower your prices. <laughs> You can't go up any further. You can't. You can't. Now, McDonald's has not commented on the potential $5 meal. Local franchises would be part of the pricing conversation before any menu change. I have heard a lot of people talking about this, mm -hmm. especially people with kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, a traffic alert for your morning commute. The Department of Transportation is repaving the right lane of I-90 west of Spokane this week. So crews are going to work on the westbound I-90 section between Highway 904 and Fish Trap tomorrow from 7 a.m. until 3 then they'll move to the eastbound side Wednesday and Thursday. All drivers should move over and slow down in the work zones. Then starting in Spokane, this all started today, West 16th Avenue between Highway 195 and Nettleton Lane is closed until early July. Once that construction project finishes, drivers on the west side of the highway will no longer be able to turn left to head north. Instead, they will be forced to head south to Thorpe Road and make a U-turn. Well, the push to add girls flag football in Washington schools failed to get enough support to make the change. The Washington Interscholastic Activities Association posted this morning that 26 voters wanted to add girls flag football, but 27 did not. The measure needed a 60% supermajority to pass. The National Association of High Schools says half a million girls nationwide played flag football last year. That's a 63% or 63 increase since 2019. WIAA voters also chose not to add badminton and esports. Health experts are watching a new COVID-19 variant that could threaten to drive a summer surge. KP.2 is now the leading variant in the U.S. Early lab tests suggest that it might be better at evading our immune defenses and could be slightly more infectious than previous variants. COVID cases do not appear to be on the rise right now, but experts say it 
could take several weeks to see if this variant does lead to a sharp increase in cases. A CDC spokesperson says right now there's no reason to believe KP.2 would cause more severe illness than other strains. Four things to know about your weather. It is going to be cooler and calmer Tuesday. Still above average, but cooler than it has been. And we're going to be right back up in the 80s by the middle of the week. A breezy Thursday. No sign of rain in the seven-day forecast, at least in Spokane. We could see some in the mountains. I'll tell you all about it after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, Plumbing. This product changed my skin forever. Paula's Choice 2% BHA. 71,000 five-star reviews and over 30 beauty awards. Great skin begins with exfoliation. Available at paulischoice.com and Sephora. When Mario needs to be at his best, he needs protection that goes beyond. Dove Men with 72-hour protection and one-quarter moisturizer. So he can forget his underarms and focus on being unforgettable. Dove Men. Forgettable underarms. Unforgettable you. Are you struggling to get through the day? Are you experiencing chronic pain, burning, numbness, and tingling in your hands or feet? Pay attention, because you are probably experiencing peripheral neuropathy. The most common symptoms are numbness, burning, muscle cramps, and problems with balance. Neuropathy is treatable, and our office can help. It's time to get real results. Pick up your phone and call us right now. If you're one of the first 25 callers, you'll receive a free nerve damage screening. This nerve damage screening will tell you if you're at risk for serious nerve damage and if you're qualified for our cutting-edge treatment program to stop the nerve damage. Don't wait until it's too late and your symptoms get so bad that you lose your freedom and are restricted to a wheelchair, walker, or need amputation. Call now to be one of the first 25 callers to receive a free nerve damage screening. Hurry, call now to find out if you qualify for our free nerve damage screening and see how we can change your life. It's time to feel better. Call today. 4 News Now and STCU are teaming up for a one-day Coats for Kids closet clean-out. Gather up your gently used winter jackets and donate them to us all day, Thursday, May 16th. Find a list of locations on KXY.com. Right now, wildfires burning across western Canada are causing air quality concerns in parts of the Midwest. Firefighters working to tame more than 100 active fires as harmful smoke crosses the U.S. border. Season started again. You see that eyewitness capturing this wall of flames marching across the highway in the province of Alberta. These satellite images show the widespread damage there. The toxic smoke now billowing south across the border into the U.S. Weather maps showing the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and parts of Michigan all impacted. Minnesota issuing its first air quality alert of 2024. Yeah. Ugh certainly goes both ways sometimes too, right? We've had plenty of our wildfire smoke go up there. But oh, yes. Could we see some of that smoke making its way here in the inland Northwest? You know, not any time in the next. I, I looked out 10 days at our air patterns, and it is pushing it all uh, to the east. Here's a look at air quality right now, and it's actually uh, not in too bad a shape over much of even uh, parts of Alberta where many of the fires are burning. It's just in that moderate range. Of course, as we get into the night and the winds begin to die down, some of the worst air quality is deep into the Great Lakes right now, uh, as we see in the orange and red. But we're going to have an active upper-level pattern going over the western United States for a while that's going to push everything uh, to the east. And I know we have viewers up in uh, Alberta, and I am so sorry that you are starting your fire season early again this year. That must have 
be incredibly frustrating. Our weather pattern, upper level winds right now, as I mentioned, are taking everything uh, to the west and we're going to see a fairly active weather pattern. Wednesday, we see high pressure building in just a little bit for a couple of warm days, but then we have a system dropping down out of the Gulf of Alaska as we get into uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and that is gonna cool things down and pick up our winds Thursday and Friday. We have more cool weather coming in as we get into early next week. And with each of these systems, we do have what looks like now to be a chance of some mountain showers. Not a lot of moisture in the forecast, however, uh, we are going to see some cooler weather, which should be welcome. Here's our high temperature trend. We were at 84 yesterday, uh, 77 the high today, 74 Tuesday. We're warming up into the 80s for one day on Thursday, and then that system comes in late in the day, dropping us to 70 Friday, and then we'll be in the upper 60s, lower 70s through the weekend, essentially right around average. Here's a look at your Tuesday forecast. We're gonna be above average, and we're gonna be back into the sunshine, skies clearing later this evening, 50 degrees at seven o'clock after a morning low down in the 40s. We'll be into the 60s as we get into late morning, noon beautiful 69 degrees really I think most people are happiest in the 70s I get very few complaints heard a lot of people talking about it being too warm uh, over the weekend in the 80s we'll be back in the comfort zone tomorrow with lighter winds few spots making it into the lower 80s on the map, but for the most part, we are gonna be staying in the 70s. Your planning forecast takes us into the 80s one day, and then the winds pick up and we cool things down. No sign of any precipitation in town, but we could get some mountain showers as we get into the weekend. Derek. Too warm in the low 80s? I'm not complaining until it's at least the 90s. <laughs> All right, traffic deaths in Washington have hit a 34-year high. We'll break down the numbers coming up. And the last key witness in former President Donald Trump's hush money case took the stand. How Michael Cohen's testimony contradicts Trump's claims that he was trying to protect his wife. Plus, which former Coug is now being invited to show off his skills in the NBA Combine? Those stories and more are coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I think I'm going to go with a 9 iron. I'd suggest a 7. No. Oh. Did you know that if a bird picks up your ball, you got to follow it? Oh, there it is. I think it's to the right. Nah. Is this it? Nope. Not it. Four! 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 Can I be frank? At STCU, we're always here to advise and consult, even if you want to go at it your own way. Let's see what you've got, Frank. I think we should talk. STCU Business. Partner up. Everyone's itching to win Northern Quest's Scratch and Win GMC Sierra giveaway. With $520,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs, it's only natural. But instead of a log, tree, or communal bush, all you need is your Camus Rewards card. Play daily to earn scratch tickets good for reward play, bonus points, hotel stays, and maybe a brand new GMC Sierra pickup. That's an itch we'd all like to scratch. Montana Sapphire from Phillipsburg, Montana. Western Skies Construction, a local owned and operated company with three generations of experience. We're licensed, bonded and insured, and we offer free estimates. Our team is committed to improving the life of your asphalt parking lots, roads and driveways. Call us today at 509-315-7974. That's 509-315-7974.
It's that time of year to book your roofing project now before the summer rush hits at McVay Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. And when you purchase a new certainty roof today, you'll get a five-star lifetime material and labor warranty upgrade for free. This year, beat the summer rush and get your decking early at Spring Savings from the decking pros at Windsor Plywood. It's time to shop, shop for wood. Get it done now so you can enjoy it when the Windsor sun comes out. Plywood. From Windsor. Coats for Kids Closet Cleanout is brought to you by 4 News Now and STCU. Well, take a look at this video here of crews demolishing a portion of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Crews used small explosives to break apart a massive chunk of the bridge that collapsed when that cargo ship hit it six weeks ago, trapping the 213 million pound vessel underneath. Around the nation, for most people, church is a place of peace and safety, but in recent days, frightening accounts of close calls between congregations and armed suspects have been making headlines. Laura Geary has the details on the latest terrifying case to capture national attention with a warning that viewers may find some images graphic or disturbing. It was a morning of communion and song at St. Mary Magdalene's Catholic Church in Abbeville, Louisiana, Saturday. And then suddenly, chaos in the sanctuary. Father Nicholas Dupree and the deacon next to him taking cover behind the altar amid the screams of parishioners and reports that a teen with a gun had entered the back of the church. It was there that congregants confronted the armed teen and escorted him back outside, holding him until Abbeville police officers arrived, according to a church statement. We did apprehend a young man. He is in custody. He is in the police custody. I'm hurt. I'm angered. The terror of those moments staying with several church members. This is a society problem, not a local problem. Potential gun violence also threatened members of this church in North Braddock, Pennsylvania recently. It was one week ago that a man pointed a gun during a live stream service at Jesus' dwelling place church. He was tackled seconds later by a fellow church member and the pastor restrained him. I'm thankful to God that I'm still here because he definitely pulled the trigger. The suspect in this case faces multiple charges, including attempted criminal homicide. In Louisiana, no one was injured and the teen involved has been charged with terrorizing and two counts of possession of a firearm by a juvenile, confirmed police. A positive outcome to a potentially much more tragic encounter. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Scary mm -hmm. stuff, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone is getting hit hard by inflation. It's reportedly worse for Gen Z. A study from the credit reporting agency TransUnion found that Americans between the ages of 22 and 24 are earning less money, have more debt, and higher rates of delinquency compared to millennials when they were that age. Not only have Gen Zers had to deal with the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic early in their careers, but also sticky inflation that has driven up the cost of basic necessities like food and gas. Soaring interest rates have also hiked borrowing costs for auto and student loans as well as sky-high home mortgages. Well, there are three Democratic candidates running for Washington governor, all with the same name. Why Attorney General Bob Ferguson says this is meant to confuse voters. Plus, we have the latest on the Spokane Valley apartment fire that left at least 12 people without a home. What the Red Cross is doing to make sure they all have somewhere to go. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. We want your furniture. During our spring cleaning sale, bring in or send us photos of furniture you no longer want. And if it's in good condition, we'll consign it for you. Plus, give you an additional 20% off your next purchase. Consign furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. This year we celebrate Gary Middle School. That's where we're going to have the hometown Chevy Diamonds and Dreams. The whole infield's got to go. New fences, new backstop, and dugouts. The kids are going to love it. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. Hey, I'm Travis Dickinson from Coach Nito Taqueria. I'm here today with Yolks Fresh Market to talk to you about my secret chef ingredient, dried chilies. We're going to use guajillo, ancho, and chipotle chilies in this mole mancha mantele. We use these dried chilies all in different combinations to really draw some pretty cool flavors into the dishes we do. The guajillo has this kind of tropical stone fruity punch. The chipotle's obviously got smoke and spice. As a chef, being able to walk through the aisles of the Yolks and pick out the things that really call to me, that's an awesome lead into some pretty cool cooking. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lyman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and my entire practice is dedicated to taking care of patients with knee problems. From ACL and meniscus tears to total knee replacements, I want to make sure you're ready for life's adventures. I'm here to help you master your knee pain and regain your active lifestyle. Visit me at the Orthopedic Sports Institute's new state-of-the-art surgery center in Hayden. Ready to take the first step? Call for a consultation today and let me help guide you to a pain-free future. Call or click today and set up your consultation with Orthopedic Sports Institute. National Dinosaur Day is May 15th. Celebrate with Stanley, the triple play raptor, and enter to win a play and stay package to Raptor Reef Water Park. Tune in to Good Morning Northwest for the word of the day, weekdays May 6th through the 14th. Then go to KXOI.com and enter to win. We want your furniture. During our spring cleaning sale, bring in or send us photos of furniture you no longer want. And if it's in good condition, we'll consign it for you. Plus, give you an additional 20% off your next purchase. Consign furniture. Easy way to sell, smart way to buy. Think your kitchen is spotless? Think again. Next in some edition, mice in your kitchen hiding out, just waiting for you to go to sleep. And what you need to do to keep your kitchen mouse free. No, no! Then, Trump's arch nemesis takes the stand from top fixer to mortal enemy. Next in some edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Well, two people are hurt and at least 15 people in Spokane Valley are in need of somewhere to sleep tonight. At around 1 a.m., a fire broke out in the Aspen apartment buildings. The housing complex is near 4th and Sullivan. The cause of the fire is still being investigated. Bronte Sarotsky joins us from Spokane Valley with what we know so far. Well, two people were hurt in this fire, but as of this afternoon have been released from the hospital. We know that four pets have died. Now, the Spokane Valley Fire Department credits this mostly mild incident to the fact that the smoke detectors in this building were fully functional. Around 1.15 a.m. Monday morning, people living at the Aspen Apartments woke up to sirens and flames. We could have easily had a lot, a lot more damage. With a charred roof and burnt grass below, at least six of these units will need an extensive remodel, while another six have been evacuated until they can be deemed safe, leaving anywhere from 15 to 20 people without a place to live. Um, whether that's prescriptions or eyeglasses um, that they need replaced, um, safe places place to go tonight, um, some hygiene items, whatever those immediate needs are. The Red Cross was on site all afternoon, meeting with people who no longer have a place to call home. Um, so we're providing some um, assistance for them so that they can help um, get them a hotel room or something if they need that tonight. While the fire department doesn't yet know how or exactly where this fire started, they have an idea as to why so few people were hurt. Smoke detectors. Time and time again, we see them when they do save lives, and then we then we hear about the tragedies uh, which we've had recently where there were no smoke detectors. The fire department says it was an employee of the apartment complex that heard those alarms and then started knocking on doors to evacuate the building. So we get somebody, it may not be your apartment, that's affected but your alarm or you hear it um, they get up and they go and they start knocking on doors the Red Cross says anyone needing help just needs to show an ID and proof they lived at this apartment Anyone still in need of assistance that wasn't able to see the Red Cross today can still give them a call. We'll have that information up on our website, kxly.com. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. Live look now over Riverfront Park where the winds have started to calm down a little bit. This camera was really shaking earlier today, but the clouds are in place. Here's another view of Spokane downtown looking to the southwest over the Spokane County Courthouse at the overcast conditions. Not the best Aurora viewing weather, but the Aurora would likely not be able to appear even if our skies were clear. I'll be talking more about that later in the broadcast. But first, our satellite and radar shows a few isolated sprinkles up along the Canadian border. For the most part, though, we are dry, but it is breezy. Right now, Moses Lake has 31 mile per hour gusts. Winds have died down just a hair in Spokane. We were dealing with 30 mile per hour gusts earlier this evening, 22 mile per hour gusts in the Moscow and Pullman area. Your Tuesday plan 
Center, a calmer day, a slightly cooler day. We hit 77 today, 74. Now that compares to an average high of 67. So we are still well above average for Tuesday. 48 degrees at 6 a.m. By noon, we'll be close to 70 degrees and then into the 70s as we head into the rest of the day. I'll be back with your seven-day forecast and that Aurora outlook in just a few minutes. Derek? All right, Chris, thank you. Traffic deaths in Washington are the highest they've been since 1990, according to a new report. The Washington Traffic Safety Commission says 810 people died on Washington roads last year. That's up 10% from 2022. Almost half of those deaths were from DUI-related events. Speed led to 251 of the deaths. 157 pedestrians and 141 motorcyclists were killed. Both of those figures are higher than any other year on record. Well, the results are in and one and of the 307 well samples from Spokane's West Plains neighborhood, only 30% of them did not contain the forever chemicals known as PFAS. That's according to the Department of Ecology. These chemicals have been linked to a number of health issues, including cancer, heart disease, and reproductive problems. The CDC says they're found in the bloodstreams of nearly 97% of Americans. The Department of Ecology also found that only 14% of the wells tested were below the standard drinking level. Recently, the department also ordered the airport to speed up its cleanup efforts after it determined they were responsible for this contamination in the area. In a response to the order, the airport says it will proceed with seasonable actions to investigate the contamination on their property. Well, there is now only one Bob Ferguson left in the race for Washington governor, with the other two Bobs dropping out of the race. The attorney general says this tactic was to try to confuse voters. This is not an attack on me. It's an attack on our election system. It's an attack on our democracy. It's an attack on the people of the state of Washington to have a clear choice and to know who they're voting for. On Friday, ahead of the filing deadline and days after Attorney General Bob Ferguson filed for governor, two other Bob Fergusons filed for governor as Democrats, one of which the Attorney General says has a history with the Republican Party. Glenn Morgan, a right-wing activist, posted on Facebook saying he was the volunteer campaign manager for those other two Bob Fergusons. The Attorney General saying these two other Fergusons are breaking the law, citing a law that's meant to prevent people with similar names from running for the same office whose political reputation is widely known. Around the world, Israel is marking Memorial Day today in the shadow of the Gaza War. This as intensifying fighting has more Palestinians trying to escape the violence. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has more. The Israeli army stepping up attacks in Gaza, both in the north and south, pushing towards Rafah, Hamas's last stronghold. Civilians fleeing once again in a mass exodus. The U.N. estimates more than 360,000 Gazans have fled eastern Rafa. Many had originally gone to Rafa to seek safety from the war. Satellite pictures show the rapid growth of a refugee camp in southern Gaza. But some Israeli settlers blocking trucks and tossing aid packages today. Protesters upset the government would open the supply route on Israel's Memorial Day. When many are remembering those killed on October 7th, the day Hamas fighters stormed into southern Israel, killing 1,200 and taking hundreds hostage. Every day that passes is a matter of life or death for them. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowing to bring the hostages home. Bereaved families at a Memorial Day ceremony heckling Netanyahu calling him garbage and blaming him for the deaths of their children. Israel says it's doing everything it can to protect Palestinian civilians, but also vowing to expand its operation in Rafah. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. Well, this year's NBA draft class might not be as talented <laughs> or as deep as previous years. But that could be some good news for some of our local players looking to break into the league, Alex. Yeah, that's right. A little more than a month from now, we're going to find out where everyone is headed. But first, got to get through the NBA draft combine. And we already know that it's going to feature one Washington State Cougar, but now we can say there's two, as Isaac Jones got the call up last evening coming up in sports. See how he's able to earn his way into performing in front of all 30 NBA franchises.
live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Consigned Furniture. During Mystiqua Casino Hotel's 30th anniversary, you get to choose your grand prize. Maybe you pick a new Chevy Blazer, or will you choose $30,000 cash? North of Spokane on Highway 395. Spokane stepped onto the world stage by hosting Expo 74. And Wendell Ford was there, celebrating our community spirit. We're still here, continuing that legacy started by Kristen's grandfather in 1943. To celebrate, we have some of the best financing and savings we've ever offered. Escape, Bronco, Explorer, and the F-150. Some with 0% for 72 months. Celebrate with us. Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. Drive for generations. You're feeding it. I will, I promise. Thanks to our Premier Rewards Visa credit card from ICCU, we earned enough cash back to stock up on puppy supplies. But we don't have a puppy. They're very convincing children. <laughs> Bath Fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs. Guaranteed for life. Bath Fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Mystiqua Casino Hotel has been treating you right for 30 years. Thank you for 30 years of jackpots, food, and fun at Mystiqua Casino Hotel. Located north of Spokane on Highway 395 near Chewila. Next ET, our movie star Monday. It's a big deal. New interviews with Jennifer Lopez, John Krasinski, Ryan Reynolds, and Chris Pratt. We bring the heat. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. All systems go. The Jeopardy! Masters quarterfinals continue. Only the top four will advance. Absolutely insane. Who will master the competition? Like, I can't wait to see how this turns out. <laughs> Jeopardy! Masters primetime event continues tonight on ABC. Well, this time last week, we were talking about how some of our local college basketball players got snubbed from the NBA Draft Combine. But a couple days later, Washington State forward Jalen Wells received an invite, and now his teammate is going to be joining him in Chicago this week. Cougar forward Isaac Jones got the call-up to the Combine after a monster performance at the G League Elite Camp this weekend. He put up a game-high 22 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 blocks and showed how versatile he can be on both sides of the court. Now, Jones was a massive piece in the Cougs' run to the round of 32 in the NCAA tournament this year. He put up more than 15 points a game, along with 37 blocks. It was named First Team all Pac 12 The draft combine will take place over the next week in Chicago. And don't forget, you can watch the first round of the NBA draft right here on KXY ABC. For the first time, the league is splitting it up into two nights. The first round starting on June 26. Now switching over to the WNBA, Central Valley High School graduate Lexi Hull made the opening night roster for the Indiana Fever for the third season in a row. She was selected sixth overall in the 2022 draft out of Stanford. And in her first two seasons in the league, she averaged more than four points and two rebounds a game. Lexi, the Fever, and of course, Caitlin Clark will open up the regular season against the Connecticut Sun tomorrow evening. Now to some not so happy news with the opening night rosters. Neither Brina Maxwell or Kaylin Trong out of Gonzaga were able to make the final cuts. Maxwell was selected 13th overall by the Chicago Sky in last month's draft, and Trong was taken a few picks later at 21 by the Washington Mystics. This doesn't come as a complete shock because only 13 of the 36 draftees made an opening night roster. Good news is, though, the league is going to be expanding in the coming years, so more opportunities. And after winning their series against the Oakland Athletics over the weekend, the Seattle Mariners are back at it tonight, this time against the Kansas City Royals. If they're able to win, they'll stay in first place of the American League West. And, of course, we'll have your postgame coverage coming up on Nightside. Derek, Kirsten, I'll send it back over to you. All right, Alex, thank you. The geomagnetic storms that brought those dazzling colors to areas that rarely see it 
did cause some chaos, though. The New York Times reports navigational systems and farming equipment broke down over the weekend. The equipment, including tractors, used GPS to precise or plant precise rows and to avoid gaps and overlap. One John Deere dealer in the Midwest warned farmers about the disruptions. This is bad timing, though, as it's the height of planting season in the Midwest and Canada. Well, the last key witness in the prosecution's case against former President Donald Trump was called to the stand today. Michael Cohen, once Trump's personal attorney and ally, testified against his former boss today. ABC's Christiane Cordero has the latest from the Manhattan courthouse. Today, Michael Cohen, who previously said he would take a bullet for Donald Trump, took the stand against him, saying under oath the former president directed him to pay for multiple women's silence. We paid a lawyer a legal expense, and we have a legal expense is a legal expense. It's marked down in the book, quote, legal expense. Trump is charged with falsifying business records linked to the $130,000 Cohen paid porn actress Stormy Daniels days before the 2016 election. Prosecutors say the payment was to prevent voters from hearing Daniels' graphic story about an alleged 2006 affair. Trump denies all wrongdoing, including the alleged affair. The defense so far has claimed Trump wanted to kill the story to protect his family. Cohen's testimony today directly contradicts that, saying he wasn't thinking about Melania. This was all about the campaign. He claimed Trump called the Stormy Daniels situation a, quote, disaster for the campaign, adding Trump said, women will hate me. Cohen also testified about a catch and kill scheme set up with National Enquirer publisher David Pecker, where they agreed to publish positive stories about Trump and stop negative ones from coming out. Pecker himself testified about that three weeks ago. Jurors heard a conversation Cohen surreptitiously recorded between him and Trump in September 2016. It references one of those alleged catch and kills, a one $150,000 hush money payment to Playboy model Karen McDougal by Pecker. So what are we gonna Funding, that, uh, yes. When it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you, so... Pay no. Some previous witnesses have taken swings at Cohen's reputation. Prosecutor Josh Steinglass conceded he has what you might consider to be some baggage. The defense calls Cohen obsessed, a convicted liar, and that he cannot be trusted. Jurors have seen more than 200 pieces of evidence so far. Cohen is the 20th witness to take the stand and is described as the linchpin in this case if the jury believes him. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, New York. Aurora hunters can catch up on their sleep tonight. We're going to get a break from the northern lights, but not from the sunny weather. I'll have your forecast after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Life can be hard. <coughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. At Ironstone Furniture and Fire, quality and comfort are the most important component to every piece of furniture. Visit the showroom for a great selection of sofas, chairs, and tables. On sale now. Create comfort and find the latest trends, styles, and deals at Ironstone Furniture and Fire. 4 News Now and STCU are teaming up for a one-day Coats for Kids closet clean-out. Gather up your gently used winter jackets and donate them to us all day, Thursday, May 16th. Find a list of locations on KXLY.com. Hi, I'm Doug Trudeau with Trudeau's Marina. Summer's just around the corner. It's time to get out on the water. We have the most popular boats in industry, premium crafted Sea Ray boats, Family fun Bayliner boats, including the Element Series, VR Series, and DX Series boats. Heyday surf boats, great way to get on the water and go surfing. Crestliner fishing boats, 
and new this year, Princecraft pontoons. So if you're in the market for a boat, come in and see us at Trudeau's Marina in downtown Spokane. This year, make your home more energy efficient and beautiful with McVay Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. Did you know McVay Brothers sells the popular Coeur d'Alene windows? And last year, the 6000 Window and Door Series won the prestigious Energy Star Efficiency Award. Well, right now when you purchase a 6000 Series window, we'll match your energy rebate up to $10 per square foot. Plus give you $500 off any roof you add to the job. At McVay Brothers, we're always working for you. Ford News Now is brought to you by the Women Helping Women Fund. Well, these are so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Some football. Well, that one's interesting. <laughs> Some photos of the finalists in the 2024 Comedy Pet Photography Awards. Nearly three dozen images submitted from all around the world made the short list in the annual competition, which organizers call a treat of happy, positive, and feel-good nonsense. It's not just for laughs, though. The competition aims to promote engagement in animal welfare while celebrating the vital roles <laughs> animals play in our lives. <laughs> a little hamster paw. <laughs> oh, my that's the That's the one that I saw, I think, <laughs> with that the dog with the head out the uh, doggy door there. Some good ones, for sure. Oh, oh my poor God. kitty. <laughs> I feel like if we just ran this on Channel 4 for yeah. an hour, we Highest might. Highest rated <laughs> newscast ever. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, well, also, though, uh, the Aurora pictures, my goodness. I, If you sent me a photo, forgive me, it will take me uh, the rest of the week just to peruse them. I'm just going to start with one uh, of the more beautiful photos. Well, they're all beautiful from Ari Nordhagen. And my goodness, what a fun thing for all of us to kind of experience together. I was out driving around looking for a dark sky Friday night and there were so many cars of people out looking for the Aurora. No luck tonight, uh, which maybe, again, come as a relief if you've been up late the past few nights. This is the line where we can typically see a little something uh, in the Spokane Inland Northwest area. We have been down with a KP Aurora index of two and a half to three most of the day and do not see any improvement there. Now, just for comparison, Friday, which was very unusual and rare, we were up at nine for hours at a time. So we're in the non-visible region and here is the forecast for the next uh, couple of nights tonight here's spokane and this red line is where you can maybe see a little bit of aurora so we are north and into canada before you would be able to see anything tomorrow it will be a little bit stronger looking for a kp of five and that is just right when you can start to see something and the red line does go down uh, below the inland northwest however if we did where you were able to see anything it would be very light and probably only with a fancy camera not your iphone so i wouldn't bother trying to look for it on a night like uh, tomorrow night but you know there's some aurora hunters that know what they're doing that may be out and about and they'll hopefully send the pictures my way and one of these days I'll get through them. Tonight is a good thing that it's not a nine or a seven kind of night because we have clouds and a few showers up along the Canadian border. Now these clouds will be clearing out later tonight. The winds will be dying down. It has been windy for a cooler, calmer Tuesday. Cooler is relative. We were 84 yesterday, 77 today. We'll be a little bit cooler tomorrow, but still above average. Back in the 80s again by the middle of the week. It'll be a breezy Thursday. That's another push of cool air coming in, but that is coming with little or no rain. In Spokane, I don't see any hope for rain over the next several days. You may get some mountain showers. Meanwhile, your Tuesday forecast, again, calmer conditions. will be in the 40s to start the day, 50 by 6, 7 o'clock. We'll be in the 70s by 1. A few fair weather cumulus clouds building up in the instability of the day.
will be topping out at 74. Our average high is in the mid 60s. Breezy Thursday into Friday with that drop in temperatures. And then we'll be right about average through the weekend and overnight lows well above freezing. So your plants are gonna be just in fine shape and uh, still a little crisp some of those mornings uh, may still need a hoodie at the bus stop. Okay. Well, if the warm weather has you thinking about spring cleaning, we can take some of those winter coats off your hands. Yeah, for the first time ever, we are holding a spring closet clean-out drive for coats for kids, Chris. That's right. Next Thursday, between 7 and 7, we're collecting your new or gently used coats at several STCU locations. When I say next Thursday, I mean this Thursday, coming mm -hmm. right up. So it, it, time is uh, of the essence. We'll be in both Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, so we hope you can drop off a coat and say hi for specific locations. Check out the Coats for Kids page at kxly.com slash Coats for Kids. I am thinking we're going to get a lot more this year with this yeah. new addition thanks to STCU yes wonderful well if you're already looking forward to the weekend this Saturday is jam-packed with events in downtown Spokane in front of Riverfront Park cruise in the Falls car show starts at 9 the lilac parade or lilac marketplace rather starts at 11 Brewfest takes over the pavilion at 1 and then it all leads up to the 86th armed forces torchlight parade that starts at 7 30 for more details on all these events head to kxly.com all right here's a look at abc's primetime lineup tonight it is jeopardy masters at 8 followed by celebrity wheel of fortune at 9 then press your luck at 10 big money big money no whammies and stop <laughs> Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Some injury lawyers you see on TV aren't even from here. They could be in Texas, California. Or even worse, Florida. Local representation matters. Good luck getting attention from a thousand miles away. Call the advocates. We're here for you, not way over there for you. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. With local utility rebates and massive tax credits available, it's now possible to upgrade to a heat pump for less than a traditional air conditioner. Heat pumps are far more efficient than air conditioners when it comes to heating and cooling your home. Get year-round comfort with higher efficiency, all while lowering your monthly utility bills. So don't be fooled into buying outdated air conditioning technology. Upgrade to a heat pump. The smart choice for smart homeowners. Call Bill's Heating and AC today for your free estimate. 20 bucks you miss. Yeah? Boom! Show me the money. Here's your check. A check? You're never going to cash it. What are you doing? Deposit in the check with K1MCU Mobile Banking. Bet you didn't think that one through, did you? Eh, come on. Get a free Ascend checking account with great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. You know what I've learned from playing soccer? Play as a team, outwit your opponent, and never give up. You know what I've learned from being a lawyer? Play as a team, outwit your opponent, never give up. No wonder we work so well together. Yeah. Four News Now is brought to you by McVay Brothers. Well, coming up tonight on Nightside, tonight the Coeur d'Alene School Board is talking about changing from a late start to early dismissal on Fridays. It's also discussing how to divide over 300 students from Bora Elementary. The possible changes to your child's education tonight at 11. 
So uh, someone in the newsroom today said, did we hit 80 today? And we both said, oh, no. No. <laughs> you could feel the difference, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Still 77, but 10 degrees above average, but not 80. <laughs> I'll take 77 for sure. Agreed.